that's just a good reminder that you just want to have everything charged, have uh, multiple ways to receive weather information because it starts to change. And because of that, we have our WBTM 13 live Doppler all in real time. It gives you that three minute advantage and we need it today because weather conditions will be changing rapidly. A great deal of rain already on the outskirts of Alberto, but right now the actual center of circulation is still offshore. We expect it to make landfall within about six to seven hours closer to the Big Bend region of Florida and then eventually making that northern turn. The Rain will continue to be more tropical in nature as we move ahead into this afternoon and this evening. And that means water loaded clouds. That means rainfall rates, blinding rain in some of these outer rain bands and gusty winds too. Any kind of travel today for Memorial Day, no matter whether you're traveling south or towards areas of Mississippi, the more you wait, the more time you're going to be in some tropical rains, especially along I-65. We're tracking the tropics now in the latest from the National Hurricane Center, and they're making several passes this morning again, by the way, just to see what the intensity will be before it hits landfall. 65 mile per hour winds right now on the outskirts of Alberto. We expect it to make landfall close to about one o'clock in the afternoon with 65 mile per hour winds as of right now. By one o'clock in the morning on Tuesday morning, so most folks talking about Monday night, early Tuesday morning, we expect the center of circulation to be closer to Selma and Montgomery. Through Birmingham, if it's moving 40 miles per hour at that juncture around Selma and Montgomery, it will probably slow down, but I think mid-morning is when it, our center of circulation passes through and it will start to downgrade as well. By Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night and into Wednesday, we should be through with Alberto if it stays on this general track. It may slow down and we could be dealing with a little bit of soggy weather into Wednesday. Nonetheless, we won't be dealing with the general impacts that Alberta will bring us right out the gate. That starts today in the next 24 hours. Heavy rainfall will be the primary hazard here because we have saturated soils. We have creeks, rivers and streams that are already full. Any more rain we add is going to make an impact on you, especially because a lot of folks may be gathering together today to honor the fallen on Memorial Day Monday. You do want to be cautious because water is an excellent conductor of electricity. So when you hear rumbles of thunder, you don't want to be on water. Tuesday, it'll make a huge impact because we will be tracking the actual center. So there could be some gusty winds as Alberto makes it through the state. Wednesday, some lingering showers too, but then we go back to that summertime pattern as we head towards the end of the week and into the weekend.